This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. The channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. I got so many requests for the lab, so it is a new solution for the lab. I'm not going to skip or fast forward any waiting part so that each and everyone can understand and I'm expecting that you will not also skip the video because there are the part that we will fix the issue and I will let you know how to fix it and if you skip the video and then there are the chances that you are not able to complete the lab on your first attempt so make sure that you are not repeating this mistake so first of all just me log in your credentials and once you're done with that come back over here and just me search for the vertex AI over here like this way click over here wait for a second Click on this workbench. And now just me click on this open Jupyter lab. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. In meantime, in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file. Now just me click on this download button over here and the file will download to your local system. Now just me come back and just me wait. And it's finally done. Now here you can see this file name called inspect rich document over here. So just me right click over here and then just me delete this file. Just me click over here and delete it. And it's gone. Now just me click on this upload and just me upload the file which is just download from a github one. So it's done. Now just me double click to open. Okay, now if you're using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running a shell or you can say command, you can just me click on the shift and enter or you can just me hit play button over here. Now make sure that your kernel must be Python. Okay, and it should be the ideal. If it's connecting, busy, that time we have to just me wait. Okay, so as you can see, now it's ideal. Now what you do, first of all, we have to just me run this particular shell. So this will install all these vertex AI packages. So just me run over here. Now if you just me check over here and you can see the kernel statistics busy so just me wait and it's ideal now now what you do we have to restart our kernel for that just me run this particular shell only so just me hit and wait And you will get this kind of pop-up, click on this OK and just may wait until your current status show as the ideal. So now it's ideal. So just may hit shift and enter till end like this way. And I will request you please pay attention over here. Do not skip this part. Okay, so it's done. Now if you just may check over here, so you can see it's have to execute all this 48 shell. So just may wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, now our kernel status is ideal. Now, if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for the each and every task, you won't get a score. The reason is behind that. If you come back over here and if you just may scroll up over here, you can see there is an error over here. You can see this kind of error. So if you also face this error, what you do, just me scroll up and you can see this 23rd shell, just me click over here. And from here onwards, you have to just me rerun all the shell like this way. Okay, now if we just may check over here, now it have to execute all this 26 cell. So just may wait. And finally, it's ideal. Now if you just may scroll up, you can see there is no error over here. Now if you just may come back and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. If the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just may wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure. So just may wait and watch.
as you can see is done and if you didn't get any kind of error on your file then you will definitely get a full score over here you have to patiently wait for the score to get update it will take a couple of minutes so don't worry and that's a way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a great day guys remember this video is for educational purpose please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and youtube community guidelines